Hey y'all, it's your friend Mousy Lee. On this channel, I do mostly beauty and fashion videos where I try things out so that you don't have to. And on today's video, we are going to be going over pharmacy makeup. And I'm going to give you my first impression and my very honest opinion about it. Is it worth it? Is it not? What do you need to know? We're going to do a full face of makeup today for you guys so we can find out together. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen a few people I know post about pharmacy makeup on social media, and I've kind of wondered about it, so I decided today to try it out for you guys because I try things out so that you don't have to. Um, and my good friend Kristen, who is so, so sweet, was so kind as to give me some samples and some, I think, full-size things here to do this video with. I will say, though, I'm going to give you my honest-to-goodness first impression. If you ask anybody that knows me in real life, I'm honest to a fault. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, so Kristen might be a little nervous right now in <laughs> this part of the video. But I'm going to give you my honest view of these products and see what we got. I have several, several products, so let's get started and make this look a little better. So first up, she gave me a little sample of this FX Pro Primer. Um, I am not a primer girl, so I'm going to try this and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I got to say, it feels really really smooth going on kind of like silk on your face and i'm sorry i think that's vfx i am totally dyslexic i don't know what i just said but i'm pretty sure that wasn't it <laughs> i'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup here i'm gonna be using a lot of the pharmacy products and then add in just a few of mine um, to fill in the gaps of what i need from a makeup i will also say if you do like any of these products you can, I will put a link down below where you can buy any of these that you want for yourself. They have a far bigger variety than what I'm gonna show you today. This is just kind of sample and so we can see if we like the quality of the products, um, you know, if they're good. And I've gotta say too, I will try to put a price up to each one of these products. These are not expensive break the bank products at all. So they're, they're very affordable. I was really impressed by that. Okay, so now we have the VFX Camera Ready Retouch Skin Visual Effect Foundation. Um, now, we're kind of guessed on my color, so hopefully it matched okay. I just told her what I normally use and some other brands, so we'll see. I don't fault her if it doesn't match perfectly. It's just kind of a try and see type of deal. But this is, oh, she sent me two colors. I've got color two, and then I've got color four down here. Ooh, I don't know which one I should start with. We'll start out with two and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little little bit of an explanation on foundation for me. I am a full foundation, full coverage kind of gal, for sure, 100% all day every day. And because of that, I sometimes am a little picky. It's got to be a super thick foundation. So I'm going to go into this judging um, not based on that. I'm going to try to just judge on the quality overall. Because if it's not super thick, I personally wouldn't wear it myself. But that doesn't mean you wouldn't wear it. You might like it. As you can see, I've got lots of hyperpigmentation, melasma, freckles in my skin. It is a lifelong battle. <laughs> Look at that, it's so bad. Um, I do use a cream for that that I go over in another video if you wanna check that out, but you can only use it for three months at a time and then you have to take a break. So I'm on my break right now, which means you can see all of it. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on here and see how this works. I'm glad I went with the two. I think the four would have been too dark for me. I have pretty fair skin for the most part. This smells smells kind of clean and good. I actually, I actually like the way it smells. It's kind of odd for a foundation. It falls off a fake eyelash. <laughs> That's what happens when your face is fake. You'll be sitting around and half of it just falls off. Okay. Let's see how this works. Yes, the, the darker color definitely would have been, I think, too dark for me. I'm glad I went with the, the lighter number two. It's going on pretty nicely, I gotta say. This may even be just a smidge dark for me, but like I said, this is trial and error, of course. Um, this is a number two. Yeah, this is a smidge dark for me. We'll see if we can blend that in a little better though. So I think if you are as fair as myself, I would get one a little bit lighter than a number two. But you know what? This gives you a fairly full coverage. 
and it goes on really nicely. I also, this is early in the day for me, so I will be able to see how well this lasts throughout the day, how it wears, if it gets cakey or creasy or anything like that. So this is probably not what I'm supposed to go in. I'm probably not supposed to layer all these things, but I'm going to just do what I want today. So I also have the Skin Perfecting Balm CC Color Corrector in Light 01. I'm going to attempt to use this as a concealer. I don't believe it's supposed to be used as a concealer, but we don't always play by the rules here on my channel or in life. We just do what we want. So this is the number one. This will obviously, I think, anyway, if I'm interpreting this correctly, should be lighter than the number two that I just used for the other foundation. It is. This probably would have been a better color for me than number one. Perhaps I should have just started out with this one, but we're just going to use it to kind of layer things up and get a little bit thicker of a coverage here. You know, I think I actually like this one better than the other foundation. Yeah, I think I do. It's kind of hard to give it a true fair assessment because I am layering it, but plus the color just matches my skin tone better for sure. So I'm just going to layer this up here. <laughs> I gotta say, I am really, really loving this one. I think this one's a winner. If I had to pick between the two, between the VFX Camera Ready and the CC Color Corrector, I would probably pick the CC Color Corrector. That's just me though. That's from someone who likes a, a fuller coverage though. And this is also in a lighter color that matches my skin tone, I think a little bit better. This is the number one that I'm using here. All right, guys, I think that's some pretty good coverage. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this Pro to Fit eyeshadow primer on that she gave me. I, again, don't usually use eyeshadow primer, so it'll be interesting to see if this really makes my eyeshadow last longer throughout the day. Then I'm just going to go in with my own CoverGirl powder and put on top of this. You guys like my makeup bag? How cute is this? I got this at TJ Maxx and you will see, well, I don't know how much you will see in this video, but I have a lot of little flamingos and there is actually kind of a funny story behind that. I think it's funny anyway. My mom um, passed away last year. That's not funny, obviously. And flamingos remind me of her a lot. So every time I see something that's a flamingo, I have to get it. And the reason is my mom was she was not a good decorator at all. In fact, I kind of made fun of her a lot because she liked to do, do tacky things and I don't know, it was just kind of a joke between us that I would make fun of her for. Well, one year, it was Easter. This is my own um, contouring, by the way, that I've got here. But one time it was Easter and I had come to their house and mom had these pink lawn flamingos out in the yard like a gaggle of them, a group of them all bunched together and underneath them were Easter eggs and I was just like what in the world is she up to now? <laughs> so I go inside the house and I'm like mom what's up with the uh, the flamingos in the yard? And she said oh I thought it would be kind of funny to look like the the flamingos laid the Easter eggs and she always liked flamingos anyway so I was like okay so I kind of made fun of her and I kind of told that story to some people because I thought it was funny. So now when I see pink flamingos, I always think of my mom. So I saw that makeup bag and I just had to get it. And someone was kind enough, my sister-in-law, to get this little flamingo for me. So I like to put it in the background of all my videos. Just reminds me of her. And another thing that reminds me of my parents, Mousy Lee is actually not my real name. Mousy Lee is a nickname that both of my parents called me when I was a kid. And um, for those of you who haven't seen some of my other videos explaining this, my parents both died last year actually. They died two months apart. Um, it's just been a really tough journey for me since then. Um, so anyway, that's why I named my YouTube channel Mousy Lee. <laughs> so that's my YouTube name. Okay, so now I've got the Pharmacy Blush. This is Tender Blush On is what it is called. I'm not sure if that's the name of the color. I feel like it might be the name of the color. So I'm going to put some blush on here. You guys are about to see my ghetto blush brush. 
I tried to buy some new brushes recently and I gotta say, I have a four year old and a two year old little girl and they run off with all my brushes so I end up using the same awful ones. This has got a little bit of a shimmer to it which might be kind of cool on your cheeks. Let's see how this works out for us. Oh yeah, it's really pale, really shimmery. It's just got kind of a nice glowy look to it. So that's pretty nice, I really like that. Okay, thumbs up for the blush. Now we've got our eyeshadow. Now she sent me one eyeshadow and I'm not sure what color it is. It says mono eyeshadow. I'm not sure how they do their colors. I really should have looked that up before. It says number nine. So I don't know if the mono eyeshadow is just a type of eyeshadow and number nine is the color or if mono eyeshadow is the color. Not really sure how they do their colors there. Like I said, I've never used pharmacy before. This is my first reaction, guys. This is my first reaction, my honest opinion. I'm gonna put on another lighter color with this. Um, I'm not really sure how this color is gonna go on. So this one is just an eyeshadow that I have. I'm gonna kind of put on as my light base for that. I kind of am stuck in a rut, guys. I do my makeup one way and one way only. <laughs> So this is like a silvery gray color. I may should have used that for the base. We'll see what happens. We shall see, we shall see. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this, just, wow, that is really pigmented, I've gotta say. So there's my, this is basically like a silver color. So that's pretty cool. I think you could definitely get away with using this as a lighter base color. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and just fill this in everywhere and then I'm gonna go back in with a darker color that I have and go around my creases. I think that'll make for a nice smoky eye. And I did tell her I like to do smoky eyes sometimes. I like those colors of charcoal and gray colors. So let's see how this is gonna look if I add some of mine to it, some of my more charcoal colors. I don't wanna get crazy, I don't know. I also like some berry lipstick colors so she sent me some berry lipstick colors. That's just usually what I wear. I don't, I, I might be doing too strong of an eyeshadow with too strong of a lip. That is not pharmacy's fault though. That's just the colors that I've picked out here. So we'll see what it all looks like together. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm really excited about the lipstick that she sent me because it is right up my alley. You never know how a color looks though until you put it on, but I really think I'm gonna like this lipstick. All right, so we've got a good, good gray, smoky-ish eye here going on. Y'all, I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination, so don't judge this based on my skills, please. I'm just a regular average girl who likes to wear makeup, and I'm 35, so I've kind of gotten stuck in a rut on how I do my makeup. It's pretty much the same every single day, and any time I try to branch out, I don't like it. Does anyone else have that problem? So I'm just gonna go in with some of my eyeliner. This is e.l.f. eyeliner. Y'all, I wish I was like some awesome makeup artist. They are, they really are artists. When you see them and see, <laughs> they can just make any average looking person look amazing, like a supermodel. It's so impressive the things that they can do. So here I've got this pharmacy lip liner in 226 is the number on that. So I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a really pigmented, good quality, goes on a really, really well and really strong lip liner, which is what you want, or what I want anyway. <laughs> okay, that's some strong lip liner. Y'all, look at this. This is not a good look. That's not a good look yet. Okay, then I got <laughs> this pharmacy lipstick, lip gloss, not sure what that is, and a number 10. I think that's the way they do their colors. I haven't seen a name on any of these. It seems to all be numbers for the colors. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna say it's all numbers for the colors. Okay, so I don't really love this eyeshadow color with this lipstick color, I'm just gonna be honest. However, separately, I think they would look really, really good. I feel a little like, I don't know, bozo with them both on together. Oh, I also sometimes will put a lighter color or a little bit of foundation in the center of my lips just to give your lips a little bit more dimension. This lipstick feels really good and it has a good matte finish, which is what I like personally, this, this type of lipstick. So I'm really digging the lipstick. I like the eyeshadow. 
I just don't like it with the lipstick, if that makes sense. So here is your pretty much a full face of pharmacy makeup. I will leave a link down below if you want to buy any of these products or try out some other products for yourself. This is my friend Kristen's personal link to her shop and she would be much appreciative if you got anything from her. I know it. So if you got any value from this video, please click that like button and consider subscribing to my channel to hang out with me, Mousy Lee.